Hey guys, it's Joe, and in this video I'll be showing you how to use sidechaining in Logic. One of sidechaining's most common uses is to use a sidechain compressor to cut through a bassline or synth, and it will create a rhythmic breathing effect. So here I've just set up a simple kick beat and some long chords to show you how it will cut through them. So it's quite simple to do. We go onto our kick channel, and we'll create a new bus, so just choose the first available one. Then we change the stereo output on the bus to no output. Then we turn the dial up to so it says zero, so hold alt and click on that. And then we'll go onto our synth channel and create the compressor. So we go down to audio effects, dynamics, and compressor. Now in the top right of the compressor, you can see where it says sidechain. So we'll click on where it says none and go down to where our bus is. Now I'm going to set it up so it sounds really obvious. I'm going to put a very hard compression on it. So just do that. So here's what it sounds like when the compressor is off. Here's what it sounds like when it's on. So as you can hear, it's created this breathing and pumping effect. You can change the timing of this by increasing or decreasing the attack on the compressor here. So depending on the tempo of your track, you can use the attack on the compressor to get the pulsing in time with other parts going on. Sidechaining is a really good tool to make your track sound more alive and can be used in a lot of creative ways. I hope you found this video useful and if you have any questions please leave a comment or contact me via my website. Thanks a lot for watching, cheers.